feeling that I've felt so many times before Heart beats so hard No matter how much I do this I never get bored I said I needed space I wanted so much more This is my galaxy Going to this explore Heart beats so hard It's just another universe And I won't be ignored Say you're a dancer, dance, take no for an answer, no way, I'm just persistent, baby, what can I say, don't wanna be a black hole, Full of negative emotions, it's true, I wanna be like a, wanna be good to you, universe, calling out, every whisper, every shout, cheap shots on me, so drink up, honey, this one's for free On the rocks, hit me up with another brandy Don't stop, give me space, I'm feeling dandy Do we deserve this? Is it our purpose? It's just fan service, there's beauty on the surface I yeah, like what I like, that target demographic So much traffic, getting graphic, all your thoughts are so Jurassic so look a little bit deeper on these values in which I strive I'll be your sleeper head Let me take this thing in an overdrive Let me take this thing in an overdrive Yeah Heartbeat so hard Heartbeat so hard That I fell within Heartbeat so high Down under the sketch Just to drown my sin I dream of electric sheep And all my responses stay the same They're just zeros and ones I can't have fun And I'm the only one to play Heartbeat so high A zero at the bar Just feeling strange Say the answer, talk, I wanna be sane one more time Ain't no damn crime, whisper those lies to myself no more It's true, I wanna be with you Universe, calling out Every whisper, every shout Cheap shots on me So drink up, honey, this one's for free everybody it's a me mox and here we are on a nice uh wednesday afternoon uh i'm gonna be joining uh the trinky smp server today and i'm gonna be doing some work on there i've been working on a barn currently um let's see here Trying to get some stuff running in the background. Uh, I do want to say, I haven't celebrated it yet. I'm going to see about doing something either this week or the next week about it. Um, but we broke actually 150 followers, which was my follower goal, which I'm very excited about. I appreciate everybody doing that. Hey, Katie. Hey, Katie. Nice to see ya. 
still getting things running. Technically, I'm running like, I don't know, 10 minutes behind myself right How now. How are you? How am I? I'm doing actually pretty good. As I said, I'm just running a little bit behind today. I decided to sleep in. It was rough. Not a not a bad thing. The sleep was definitely needed, but boy, boy, that makes uh, picking up things difficult sometimes. Let's see here. Let's let's get some funny Thanks. music going. Take those pills. Yeah, nice relaxing music. Take those pills. Get into the server. How are you doing, Katie? You I saw you were Take delivering bones to Trinky. Oh, I'm annoyed. You guys are gonna have to do the mining for me. I refuse to go mining. I, I heard you were having a time. Also, I think I'm in a wall. Whoa. Yeah, I've been helping Trinky out a bit. Yeah, no worries. It's all about cooperation back here, after all. Uh, so, let's get out of here. Last night, Snoo and I were up to real late. Let's see here. Temporary housing. Great. Oh, for the horses. I see. Okay, fair enough. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I actually have a stable part of this thing uh, being built. Let me show off what I'm doing here. Now, I, uh, I will admit, I'm going to be transparent about this. I have died so many times while mining. I see. I see. No worries. Uh, my deaths are actually also from mining. Uh, last night I was trying to gather supplies to make some things, and so I decided to go over here into the hole. And I fell to my death, and then trying to get back to my stuff, I got shot out of the waterfall and died, and then uh, I got surrounded by monsters and then died. I haven't died since, but it's been a little rough. But anywho, so here's what I'm working on for an actual, like, big barn farm thing. So I got a lot of work to do. Um, this is a, a, a blueprint I actually found online that I thought looked really cool. Uh, there's housing for animals here, here, and here. A storage area here. Uh, this is going to be a big chimney style thing, which is going to be cool. And then around the back over here are the actual stables for like horses and stuff. Which is going to be fantastic. It's going to uh, definitely fix that little issue that we had for not having a place for all of the aminals. Oh, I don't have anything in this. I'm unarmed. All I have is a saddle, some bread, and an empty crossbow. Fishing pole, go! Oh no, it only made it brought him closer. I didn't think this through. Quickly, back to the safety that is home. I see somebody has been going through on uh, all of the wheat fields. That's fine. That's his point. Hey, Omax. I'm on fire. Ah, oh, there's a baby zombie. He's trying to eat me. He bit me right in the butt. Yeah, I farmed it a bit ago. Yeah, no worries. It's farm. That's what it's for. Get get the food. Uh, anywho, I need some supplies over here. I'm gonna need uh, a pickaxe. There's a couple over here. Good, good, good. I'm gonna need some regular axes. I'll take this sword. And that should be everything I need for this, because right now, one of the things that I really need is I need dark oak. Uh, we currently don't have any dark oak trees, at least as far as I'm aware of, uh, since I think we have only harvested birch and regular oak. I'm going to turn on the music just a little bit. There we go. Hello, sheep. Let's see if we can find some dark oak trees. I think there are some over here, it looks like. That looks like regular oak. Yeah, yeah. What a pretty place. What a pretty world we live in. I don't know if this is natural or not, or if someone's built this. I wonder if somebody's living over here. 
It's entirely possible. There's a bunch of people on the server after all. Just having a chill run to the woods. Is this dark oak or this regular oak? Look at the regular oak. No, I've already started chopping down this tree, so I might as well finish the job. No point in leaving something half assed like that, you know? Should be okay. Got the two trees over there. They'll be a okay. I don't know all the tricks and stuff for Minecraft, but I know a couple. I know enough to, to get around pretty well. Ooh, what's this? Lore. Lore? Oh, gamer board. <laughs> Lore? Nah, this is a building server. It's about building stuff and having fun. About the only thing I can say that is lore worthy is that I technically am part of a faction that I started called the Ground Dogs. What do we do? We build. We just have a good time and build. Apparently, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. Not that kind of SMP. Though I think it's gonna end up becoming that kind of SMP. A lot of people are just role playing and doing stuff. Not that I've got a problem with it. You know, you can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, goodbye, Tom Nook. Wonder if he's out, out, or if he's just bouncing up for a second. I was having connection issues last night and had to leave and come back in a couple of times. So. That's always a possibility. Mount the grid. Oh no, it's raining on my head. I'm gonna birch for us, that isn't gonna help me. Also nice new sub emoji Mermix Shrug Mermix Skull yeah. Mermix Flat Mermix Calculated. I'm working on making more uh trying to brainstorm ideas and stuff like that. I have a lot of things I have to do still for this, the server and the, the stream setup. A lot of chickens over here. No, this looks like... No, 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 no. This is something else. Is this what I'm looking for? I think this is. Yes! Cool. Let's get some dark oak and let's get some dark, o uh, dark oak saplings so we can see about growing more at near our house, so the difficulty of resupplying won't be as big of a pain. Hopefully we can get some saplings. If not, well, sometimes them's the ropes. But yeah, the, the barn I'm building. It's, uh, it is definitely a blueprint thing. And so I'm going to be referring to that as I'm doing stuff. So if I am just kind of standing there for a second reviewing stuff, that, that's what's going on. Why not make one of your own design? Why not use your own brain on things, Marks? Uh, well, because I like the design. Nothing wrong with using it. It's a template somebody came up with, and it's a really cool looking template. No harm. Sometimes you just see something and you go, I want to build that. I want that. Oh no, my axe. Bam. Where's everybody's week going? Cheer 100. Aw, oh, well, thank you. Uh, I'm having a pretty, pretty decent week. Very tired, very stressed, and very overworked. Holiday seasons at a retail job are rough. But I'm still enjoying my time. Uh, I also got it set in stone. As a reminder... Cheer 100. Oh, thank you again. As a reminder, on New Year's, I'm doing a 24-hour stream. I'm going to be doing a, a lot of stuff. I'm still getting an actual like agenda set in place for like what's all going to be going down there. And I'm going to be seeing about getting some people to join in on uh, some activities and stuff like that. I'm also going to be doing some group games and things like Jackbox and stuff. So audience participation is totally going to be a thing. Uh, which will be cool. Oh. Oh yeah. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. If you're able to make it, cool. If not, I understand it's New Year's. New Year's Eve and day. People do stuff. 
But I'll be there for the whole 24 hours. What that sounds doing? like fun. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. At least I'm hoping it's gonna be fun. I'm probably going to be dead. Not, <laughs> not that I can't stay up for 24 hours. Done it before, do it a lot. A couple of times here and there. Uh, but trying to stream... I'm going to be there for sure. Smiling face with sunglasses. 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 But yeah, no worries. Be excited to see you there. Let's see how many of these things I can get. I don't want to end up having to use any of this uh, dark oak that I've got currently. Just because this is all for building. Oh, this is going to take forever. I've got regular oak, though. I've got an idea. Let me know the temporary one of these. It's not going to be a whole lot. But, having at least a couple of things here would be nice. Ba -ba. It's not going to be much better, but it is still better than my fists. I think Mate of Massim or Mason uh, is the guy who has the really cool wizard tower actually in my house. I'm going to be building one of my own as well. That's in my plans of things to do. I uh, have to, of course, get to that point first. One build at a time. Don't want to keep changing things up as I go. Nothing will get done. Oh, that's how I was earlier. How did I get here? Not even a hundred percent serious since I'm still thinking about that question earlier. Like, what lore? How does it? one join the SMP? Um, there was an invitation process uh, through the person hosting it. I am Trinky. Um, I don't know if they're accepting applications anymore or so, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt if you wanted to join to try and just uh, send them a message. I can't guarantee anything. I'm not the one in charge of any of this. But, that I guess is an option. But it was a thing that you had to f fill out an application form for. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'll be upfront, I didn't apply for this. Uh, I ended up get, being a give me. Because I'm Twinkie's friend. Oh, around. Uh, it's not in that style. It's genuinely a thing that I was I wasn't going to actually be a part of this initially, just because I'm more of an explorer than I am a builder. Like Snoo is a builder. I knew Snoo was going to be a great fit for this when uh, Trinky announced what they were going to be doing. But I myself went. I don't know if I'm going to be a great fit for this. Uh, but I was more than happy to see about supporting them and like posting the links and stuff like that. And, uh, if they were doing things, trying to be there for it. But now here I am actually in it, building a bar and having a faction of people. Life is strange. Okay. Let's try to find our way home now. I'm not lost. No, no sir. I totally wasn't wandering aimlessly and not paying attention to where I was going. I know, jump, swing, and Remix flat. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Lie on the ground. I'm gonna be making more emotes. Apparently, I even have an animated uh, emote slot. Oh no! I 
It's nice that people can sleep though. That makes uh, having to survive in the wild. <laughs> oh no, I'll be hunted by a new one. If I can find a landmark of some sort, I'll be able to find my way home. But the trick is finding a landmark of some sort. Hey, these are all the chickens. This looks familiar. Maybe I should see about climbing a mountain. Getting a better view over things. Watch as I'm going the right way home already, and I don't even realize it. See, this is why you build, like, like, you leave breadcrumbs and stuff as you're going. That's why you don't get lost, like a silly person. Or you do something like you follow a river. I could be going the complete opposite way of home right now and I would never know. Then again, I could just try to make my way to spawn. Oh hey, Gray's online. I say hi. Yo, Gray. I wonder if they're in the voice chat. Maybe I should go and see about who's all in there. Oh, hey, B. Hello, bees. You can hear me? Oh my god. Gray is in the chat and they're listening to me. They can hear my voice. That means they know I'm lost. But am I truly lost? I have three eggs here. They'll keep me company. I haven't thought of a gift or make it a gift. Mm, sounds odd. Why do they need to make up? I see. I see, I see. I see. I know, I'm wondering the same thing. What do you mean make up? Can't imagine you've done anything. Look at all these bees. I am very lost. Let's see if I can find a landmark up here. Oh. Come on, damn it. Why is my mouse relaxing up? stuff here. We haven't lost everything. None of this looks familiar to me. Oh no. It's troublesome. Troublesome. Found me. Where did you say we found someone else? Zero zero is spawn. I think. Not a hundred percent in that. Oh, there's so much data that's up here.
Oh, if I die now and lose everything, that would be bad. Must be careful. Must be safe. <laughs> oh no, Katie has left. Goodbye, Katie. I hope you have a good one. I'm off bed. Fair enough. You have a good night and I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for hanging out and uh, I hope you had a good time on the server. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you guys for all the hard work you've been doing. For real. The resource gathering has not gone unnoticed. Oh boy, I'm really far off. I'm making progress this way. I still have to go and make progress to the left or the right. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I think this should take me back. I think that's how this goes. Oh, look at all this dark oak. Oh, uh, yeah, there's gonna be places for animals to see, race. Whoa, what the hell is this? Holy crap! Look at this cave! Hard to see with all the numbers, I know, but holy crap! Spawn. Should have made a compass. That would help me from getting lost. Ooh, 713. Where are my mocks? I'm I'm lost. I'm lost in the world. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> ah, shit. I went the wrong way. Oh boy, I've gone a really long way. <laughs> okay, zero zero was not the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm a fool! Alright. What was that again? Negative 398, 1451. Oh boy, that is complete opposite direction. Oh no! I wanna go this way, and then I wanna go. No, am I? Yeah, this way, this way. All right. No, negative 398, that means I want to go this way. Okay. Oh, this is painful as a lot, I'm sure. Here we go. Just a little bit of nicotine. 
Make our way through the woods, hopefully we don't get killed by the mobs. We've got 40 things of bread. That should be enough to get me through this. Lovely. Go, go, buddy! Come on. What are you trying to make stuff over here? It's like cool. Yeah, people can see stuff on my computer. Whoa! I see you. Nothing fancy. Yay! No monsters today. Okay, this is looking familiar, like the first forest that we were in before. Green 98. Then 1400, so we just need to keep going in this direction. In such a way that... Dad Gummit. No snow. There's no snow where I am either. There used to be snow. But now all of it's melted and it's all in rain and slush and ugh. And ick. And ugh. Out of my way. Leaf. Another egg. We're making progress today. We're getting all these eggs. Because our, our team totally needs more eggs. We don't have an infinite egg farm. What are you talking about? Oh, look at how far we are. Or up here. And I don't see Diddly. I don't like my odds of making that jump. See if we can get down this safely and responsibly. Oh no! Oh, that was almost it. That was almost my death. That would have been terrible. Embarrassing. Oh, that would have killed me if I had missed that. <laughs> so I gotta go a long way of this way. Tell the coordinates of where I am based on the position of the stars and the sun. Get a bit of dirt. Damn. Need more bread. I need HP in case something bad happens. <gasps> I made it home. I made it. Hooray! I'm a home and not dead. Alright, let's go check out some of these. Probably over here. So 
are gonna be in fours because that's what Dark Oak rolls. Now that that's done out of the way, I should eat some bread. Come over here, and then let's get that exactly blueprint pulled up, and I will see nothing. about following it. Well, I'm told it means going along, listening to all the things you can't hear, <laughs> and not bothering. Love how that works. Just, just bunny hopping, basically, or smashing your head into something it makes you go faster. Alright. I think I've got this. Let's see. This for now. Uh, here, I'll be fine. So much easier for me, ha. Huh? So we're gonna do this dirt later to build things in. That uh layer with the wood isn't there. It's it's just for placeholder, so I know where to put things. Okay. Okay, you know what, never mind. I'm gonna go back and get that scaffolding. Can't be lazy. 
that's what it Now, I've never used scaffolding, so I don't fully know how it works. Oh no. Help. Help. What do you mean help? Stuck at the bottom of a hole, it sounds like. Sleepy, sleepy. Bye, loser. Oh no! bridge over here. That's exciting. Ah, it's a spawn. Okay, that's what that is. Very interesting design being a diagonal bridge. Do scaffolding work? I've never used scaffolding. Uh, here should be coming. Okay. Oh. Oh, neat. That's pretty handy, actually. Alright. Back to the second. So, no, we don't want to corner. Yeah, there's a spider. He's underground. He ain't gonna hurt nobody. He just being a webby boy. Damn it. Oh, 
have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Here we go, here we go. Here we up. Here we go. Damn it. I have to be like facing it front on, don't I? There we go. Good lord. Oh, that for that. There we go. That's all. That's all. That's all I was trying to do. Interesting. That's not what I'm looking for. I will be back next week to help with the group. Yeah, no worries. We'll see you then, dragon. Besides, you got your your little hidey hole over there that is still a-okay.
say this. This scaffolding is really cool. I don't think it's good at this tool. Plus, it's time for sleepy time. The sun has gone down. Sure, that now it's easy. I'm gonna be alright. It may take a few days. I'm gonna be alright. Do this a bunch. Good. It's like now that I know what I'm doing, this isn't as difficult. I 
PC. Okay, so that's that. Got it. Very simple from here, at least as far as this side over here is concerned. As far as this side is concerned, we just continue on with this. Watch this. I wonder if I have enough stairs, though. And let me guess, I redo the thing in the front. Yep, I'm gonna redo the whole damn thing in the front. A lofty goal. Let's get 200 followers before the end of the year. I only have 15 days to do it. Could you like reserve me a spot for my horses in your barn? Ah, uh, there's actually already a spot for horses over here. Uh, right here. Uh, I haven't finished it yet, but there will be a spot for horses. That's what these are. Scaffolding over there now, do I? Let's go collect it. There it is again. Oh, it's raining scaffolding. Hallelujah. That is fun. I hear things. There's. There has got to be like BTW, a... if you didn't know, I'm the owner of that sexy looking tower behind you. Oh, that's your tower. I wasn't sure whose tower that was. Uh, I dig your tower, though. I've been complimenting it for a while. I ended up basically getting it done that I could just do this casually. Yeah, it's terribly difficult. I'm getting into a rhythm of how it works. There it is again, so strong. Technically, I could do this without the stairs. I could do this with just the slabs. Could probably do one more. You know, back when I was in the academy, we would follow every toast with a song. Yeah. 
putting blood, sweat, and tears into this. Oh, no, it does. There we go. We got ourselves, I guess, the base set of a roof. Let's see what the next step is. Let me just go around. No sleep. Box no sleep. Okay. Oi. I heard about this turtle farm. Gray. Shaman. The turtles. Had to let her know. I see, I see. Very important. 
very important that it gets said. I guess. Oh, damn it. Your heart's running away with your head. Bad angle, bad angle, I just realized. So like one more like here. Need more stairs. It looks like the dark oak trees have grown, so we can get more if we end up running out. Deal with the floating scaffolding at some point. Make scaffolding extend outwards, you know? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I actually didn't fully understand that. I don't. I've never used scaffolding before. This is all new to me. It did. Huh? If it works, am I right? Am I right? Yay! We have ourselves a full border. It's following this. Seeing what the next step is. Oh, interesting. Spruce? When did Spruce get involved in this? Do we have any Spruce? Do I have to go out into the woods and get more Spruce? You can take some from my place. You got Spruce. Ye oldie wizard. Mid level of my tower, there should be a barrel with wood stuff in it. I see, I see. First things first, okay, just climb the walls. Mmm, soggy bread. Delicious. Just dipped in a little bit of water, you know? Anybody know anybody who actually dips, like, bread in water? I, I, I've heard that that is a genuine thing people do, and it's always, like, weirded me out. Like, I understand, like... Also, has Gray shown you the railway road back to your place? Uh, no. You, <laughs> says Gray. Right? Isn't it terrible? But that's what's... That's something people do, is they dip bread in water. They do it... I guess for like flavor things. Mid level, looking for a barrel full of wood stuff. No, that's a bit. A bit. 
probably in the actual tower, ain't it? Hello, Hunt. Dark Oak, um, I'm gonna need a lot more than that, so I'm gonna leave your stuff there. I'll see about finding uh, spruce logs in there. Take advantage of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like Mary Poppins songs in this. Take the railroad back. Take the railroad back. Alright, I will see about finding the railroad. Oh, railroad, railroad. Oh, you got chickens leaking out. First level, going down, in the tower. First level, going down in the tower, got it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a thing? Oh, this is cool. The underground railroad has begun. I like how it's like I'm being scooched on all of these power rails. Like, it has to take a second to recognize that the power grill is. I can take all the credit. Graded absolutely nothing. I see. I see. I don't know if that's true or not. Was that was that the stop I was supposed to get off of? Oh, oh where am I going? Excuse me. <laughs> send it that away. That way there'll still be one back there, just to try and keep up with that. That's a thing, huh? I'm just saying, I contributed a lot more than you did. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Them's fighting words. Oh. Assuming the chunks are loaded and the powered rails are pushing it? True. If not, there's just gonna be something hanging out there. I still gave it a shot. There was some effort. Oh! Oh, that's what this is. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. And the future never comes. Let's go and find a spruce tree. Well, let's see if we have any spruce beforehand, before I go on a big old adventure. What comes is always... ...here now. Hello, and because of your habit of worrying about the future... <laughs> Alright, I will admit that Grey did like 10% tops. <laughs> adventure and find spruce trees and get lost again. Oh no, great! <laughs> Absolutely hopeless, 
That's why I had to carry the railroad project. Oh boy. Great work on the railroad. We're all contributing here together. Oh, I saw something. Epic house. Makes an arrow in your chest. Oh no! BTW Mox, what are your thoughts on that Tom Nook person? My thoughts on Tom Nook? Uh... No comment. I know of the drama. I understand of the drama. I have not partaken in it much of the drama. That's kind of where I'm going to leave that one. I've heard that it has been dealt with. And I'm going to have faith that it has. And if it hasn't, it will get worked out, won't it? The song. It gives me like major Christmas vibes, and it probably is from like a wintry style thing. It's all birch trees. I want to spruce. Egg. Dang it. Watch eggs. So many eggs. Egg forest. He's not going to give anything back, and you need to move on. Pretty sure he's still on. I stuff to the computer, so just avoid him. Yeah, I guess. I'm just naturally petty in my heart. Mm -hmm. If you've been affected directly, I suppose you've got every right to be. Hey, and move on. My hunt for spruce trees has only just begun. I'm sure they're in obvious places that I could find, obviously, if I knew what I was doing. But I didn't. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's that. Hey, donkey! Hey, the donkey friend. Hee haw. desert but if you check snow's vod he said he would return the 17 iron he burned <sighs> oh no neck migraine no oh damn look at this little island this would be perfect for somebody oh look at how cool this would be to live on I like living on islands, like these little, like, banks of land, separated from the land, but just close enough that you can still be a part of it, it's my personal favorite. You know, it has occurred to me, I don't think I, I, love it. I, don't think I actually know in my head what a birch tree Minecraft even looks like. I'm gonna pull the picture just so that I have something. Or not a birch tree. 
no, 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 it's not birch I need, it's, um, brain, I just forgot. Spruce, right? Spruce trees that I'm looking for. Yes, spruce. Bugs. Okay. That's what I thought there, the, the, like, okay, so they are the, like, mountainous looking trees. I need to find, like, a big old mountain. And I'm at the... Ah, damn. I'm right here. Not a mountain. Well, that's a mountain, but not like that. I need, like, a snow mountain. What is salmon? Like, I, I'm sure salmon's not like a... Like the actual fish. I'm sure salmon is the name of one of your guys' pets, but like, what is that? Are they a horse? Are they a donkey? Are they a turtle? Or are they an actual fish? <laughs> oh god. No, no. Gray is in danger. The wind advice me to hail. You're in a hell of a storm, aren't you? Tennis ball sized. Oh no, the balls are getting bigger. Trees, trees everywhere, but not the one I want. Birch and oak trees, and their wonderful appearances. There is never a bad time to talk about big balls, I'll have you know. There is never a bad time. <laughs> what am I saying? I second that motion. Exactly. See? Never a bad time for balls. This is going to sound really weird, um, but one of my favorite drinks that unfortunately isn't sold where I live anymore might I, I think it's still continued elsewhere but where I live it's not is actually a drink called balls um, it's a, like an energy drink style thing but it's very tasty it's like double caffeinated uh, soda really when I think about it I'm also kind of a, a, a nerd who collects bottle caps so the fact that they were a drink that actually had bottles or sorry bottle caps I was also excited about it. I have made my way back home, I've traveled the full circle, and I found not a single spruce. Woo! <laughs> that was almost my death. Maybe we rich when Fallout happens. Yeah, probably. In truth, what I end up doing with most of the bottle caps is I actually use them for pieces and figures for uh, tabletop games that we play. Us and the poor Ken crew. I did not. I'm sure there's tons of spruce trees over there. I don't actually know where Mace lives. I'm sure there's coordinates out there. I'm just not familiar with it. There's spruce trees by the railroad station. Cut them down and plant more. There we do! Did I miss them? Am I blind today? I'm feeling blind today. I feel feeling tired and blind. Son of a you are correct. <laughs> there they are. Oh, that means fingers. Fingies, phalanges. Loud <laughs> bubba. Feel free. Feel free. Let the hazing begin. I ran right past these, didn't even notice. 
I am ready for the mockery. The mockery. <laughs> Someone's having a laugh. So the last 10 minutes of running was pointless. The last 10 minutes of running was pointless, and I have wasted everybody's time, and we are now worse off for it. Yes. Quality content. This is exactly what everybody comes here for. <laughs> I do feel very silly now. At but least we heard about your balls collection of bottle caps. Yes, my balls collection of bottle caps. There's more than just balls in there, I'll have you know. I don't just collect balls exclusively to share with my friends. Uh, there's uh, all sorts of things in there. There's actually a little store not too far from where we used to live that sold novelty sodas with their own special like little bottle caps on the top of it. And we'd go there and we'd uh, pick up a couple because they had a deal that if you bought four of them we'd have to... You gotta like, sell cheaper, like a better price and all that, which is really cool. Um, I actually started collecting bottle caps not because of Fallout or something like that, even though I do love the Fallout series, do not get me wrong. Um, it was actually because another friend of mine was collecting bottle caps. Uh, I lived with him for a short time. I was there for like uh, maybe a close. To, to a year and a half, and then uh, I had bad life stuff happen, I wound up unemployed, and then I couldn't afford to pay bills, and well, wouldn't you know it, I had to leave. Don't blame him. I was literally unable to do my part of it, but anyway, uh, he had a collection of bottle caps that he had for um, cola bottles specifically, because he really liked drinking uh, Coca-Cola out of the bottle, and I don't blame him, drinking Coca-Cola out of the bottle is... It's an interesting experience. It doesn't taste really any different from regular Coke, and yet the experience of drinking it out of the bottle is far more satisfactory than drinking it out of a can or a plastic bottle. Couldn't tell you why. And from there, I just started collecting my own uh, collection. It got to the point, though, however, that uh, my friends were also collecting bottle caps and adding it to the collection. We have so <laughs> we have so many. I'm not upset by this. It's just a bit overwhelming by how many we get and how many things we are now looking at. Being like, it's vaguely bottle cap shaped. Let's collect that too. Though that has more to do with the fact that we're using it for game pieces than anything else. If I'm being honest. I thought about trying to find like a cork board or something like that to try and like display them and so we can like pull them out and use them uh, whenever we want and stuff like that just to make it a little more decorative than keeping them in uh, containers and little bags and stuff like that since Snoo decided as they usually do that they didn't like how things were organized so they went out of their way to see about uh, organizing them. When are we gonna see a bottle cap stream of you flexing all the different brands like Coke? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I don't even have a camera, so I couldn't do stuff like that even if I wanted to. I guess the closest thing I could do something like that on would be the New Year's one, since I'm gonna be just setting up my entire setup in my living room and uh, spending the whole time there being like, all right. Uh, oh shit, I just realized I haven't thought about this through yet, have I? Uh, because this isn't, this is the what I want, this is exactly the what I want, but I want it like this. Let's get it out here, gotta strip all these logs. Wow. Wow. That is a thing that I've always thought about. It's just like, do I ever do like a big face reveal thing or not? I don't know. I like having my anonymity. I also like both my avatar and like the mental image people have of me representing what they, they think of me as. And not like my physical image. I don't think 
I've got anything wrong with me. I got a relatively attractive man. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I like having my online presence separated from my real life presence. I don't want to. I don't want to get to the point that I like walk around and people go, "Oh shit, that's Mox!" and I'm like, "Oh god." <laughs> I don't know if I want that. It could be dangerous, scary even, slightly uncomfortable. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. I do not think this is going to be enough spruce for what I've got so far, but we've got a bunch of other spruce trees growing, so I can just go around and chop them down and collect them as need be. Maybe things are getting bad. Oh no! Survive, Greg! Survive! Three more things. I'm going to have to go on a run to get more wheat and bread. My bread is running out. I cannot believe it. Where'd that one log of mine go? How'd I lose a log? There it is. Understandable. It keeps your identity flexible. Not like celebrities who just get swarmed every time they step outside. Exactly. Like Toby Maguire. Exactly, exactly. Not really interested in having a, a paparazzi swarm. Besides, it also means that I don't have to worry about like what I dress when I'm streaming. Like, I like to wear really comfortable clothes, but that doesn't mean they necessarily look the greatest. <laughs> uh, like one of my favorite shirts that I have, um, I picked up during the pandemic, uh, just before Snoo and I went into quarantine. We were fine. We didn't actually co uh, contact COVID or anything like that. Um, but we had a scare because one of our friends did and we were like, ah, oh, crap, we were just hanging out with him. Maybe we should, you know, do our thing and do our part and make sure that nothing bad happens, you know? Uh, and so we were getting supplies for what could have been like a long time uh, stint inside of the house. And while we were at Walmart, I saw on the discount rack there was a shirt that was disgustingly salmon colored shirt. And on the front of it, it said, Mama needs wine and cursive. And I couldn't help myself, and for only for like two bucks, I had to have this shirt. It's like three sizes too small for me. It's gaudy as all hell. But I love it. Where can one get this shirt? Asking for a friend. Walmart. I don't even know if they necessarily... Uh, sell that particular shirt anymore. Do I have to start up a Mama Needs Wine <laughs> brand style shirt? I don't think we have Walmarts in the UK. Oh, okay, okay, I figured it out. cannot be the emotions, the feelings, I the feel experience. So, what is the nature nope. of I'm gonna have to have something below What does it word mean or point to? So when you say I, and point to the I as that which doesn't change, it cannot be what happens to you, uh, it cannot be the thoughts. The I thought. genuinely love that shit. It cannot be so much so. the emotions, the feelings. Yeah, 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 I'm following I'm touched by time. Every answer generates further questions. Okay, so what happens from here? Okay. I dropped it. No, but your fingers.
Shuvel. I can do this. Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, there's nothing that I have to remove from all this, right? No, yeah, that's fine. Bing. Bing. I don't know if I like these two. I think I'm gonna remove these two. Mm, that's a problem. Let's think about how we can remedy this because I am a fool who didn't think this through. Oh! First things first, don't break your legs. Remember, first things first, do not break your legs. Follow follow the instructions box. Doing a bad job following the instructions. Okay, okay. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Wow. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Up here. Yes, yes. I gotta chop down this. Oh, damn it. This is a second for <gasps> You're still dirty. Yes, that was actually a lot easier to fix than I thought it was gonna be. Hooray! We can do this. Hey, Diamond! Congrats! Done that. What's the next step? Oh, God. I've seen what I have to do. I don't know if I have the strength for this. You might be able to make a guess. Such a pain in the ass. <laughs> ah, I have to make all of this like that. Which means I gotta put down all that dirt. Yeah, you indeed. Each one, yeah. Uh huh. Disgusting. Absolutely. Vile. But it is what it is. First things first, go to sleep. Next thing, I'm gonna have to get more spruce. Gotta spruce things up, you know. Hello, Moon. How are you today? I did. I did, in fact. <laughs> Oh no! 
undone by the pun. Anyone there? Anyone where? I'm here. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Begins on a dark night. Hi. How are you? Bunker down. That's good to hear. It's all so done. Yes, hello. That first someday a blue. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Is that how maps are done? They're like awesome. Would I like a copy? Sure. I would appreciate a copy. I like the way that works. It'd be nice to have a map of the area and like where everyone's at. It would make finding where everybody is and uh, being able to. Oh, we got burning skeleton boy. <laughs> Axe in the head. Put an act in a humdangled brain. Yeah, but we can't go to the end. Just the rules. I wonder what the reason for that one is in particular, since it'd be easier to do a lot of things if people could fly, but then again, maybe that's something that Trinky's trying to avoid. It's like fear of flight. I don't know. I don't fully understand it, but, you know, I'm sure there's a reason. together to go kill them. The raid boss, basically. I feel ya. I feel ya. I get it. I understand. This is all to get a life this. Harm, I suppose, in just finding the end portal, though. Well, oh, hi, Greg. How are you? Would you like some bread? I have bread. What are you doing? Last I had Hello. Stressed. Understandable. Here. I offer you an egg in this drawing time. Anything I could do to help? I have scaffolding. I'm gonna take that as a name. Hmm. 
Hmm. How have I not noticed this over here? Why bone bugs? I wonder what the point of this is. Wow, Gray. Hmm? You petty petty. <laughs> None. I have no idea what's going on. I neither do I. I'm in the I'm in the dark here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Gray, did you do that? Listening. I'm gonna be hanging out in there, so if anybody's feeling the urge to socialize, here's an opportunity to. Get all of this. It's a me, man. Hello. Hello. How are you? I guess that is that time. You are off work now, aren't you? You gonna join in to SMP? Hello. Action? I have been lurking here for a bit. Oh, hello, Captain of Chaos. Welcome to. Welcome, welcome. I'm trying to gather resources and materials to continue building a big old barn. That was a lot of bees I just said in that sentence. Beezus. We're going through so many of these. Make it with a higher material box. No! I don't wanna! Gonna build it out of stone. I plan to, but I have to get set up with Trinky and just haven't yet. Ah, uh, I see. You're gonna go off and do your own thing, or you're gonna hang out with the ground dogs? I'm assuming do your own thing, because that's just how you roll. Hey, Amox. Hey, important. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Chalk live with me, please. Everyone else is in groups. Dash. <laughs> hey, you can join us if you want, dude. You're fine. 
In fact, now that I think about it, I was always going to see about offering you an invitation if you wanted to be a part of us. Since you do just live right over there. And you have helped us out. Sleep. Okay. Fine, I will slept. Yeah, I've kinda already committed to the tower. No, that's fine, you can commit to the tower. Oh, no one sleep. Don't. Oh wait, no, hold on. Hold on, wait a second. Never mind, it resolved itself. Not much. I just finally found the energy to get out of bed. When I saw you online, I decided to check out what you're up to. Uh, mostly, uh, getting supplies and making chat disappointed. I spent like 15 minutes looking for trees that were literally right next to my house that I did not have to go out looking for. And now I'm stripping them of their bark. Hmm. No bark, no bite, just wood. Oh. oh, cool, the, ma the maps. Thank you, thank you. I'll have to set up frames and stuff like that for them later. Sorry I'm back crashed out there. Oh, no worries. Yeah, doing the big weird. It's actually genuinely a, a decently sized build too. I'll find out because I'm gonna take what I've got and continue working on it and see how far I am there. Thought Chuck ran when I asked him to live with me. <laughs> yeah, he just vanished. Just, no, I'm out. Got the likes of Dragon Lobster and Bloom over here too. I actually thought that was like Bloom's place over there, not realizing that that was a transit hub. Or I guess it would be the um, metro hub of the server. Which is fine. I like that. Oh, that's what it Oh! Leggies. Remember the rules. Do not break your leggies. So bad at following that rule. Wait, DOM is on this server? Yeah. I am planning my own build gonna be nomadic for a while till I find just the right place. Fair enough. I actually found uh, not terribly far from uh, where I am a really cool like uh, island area that has a tree on it but it's mostly just this open space near the water. It's close enough to the land that getting back to and fro isn't too far off but it's got enough space to build and develop on that I was like crap that would be an amazing place to live on. I could show you that later. You get on if you're interested. And at the same time, you'll figure out where you want to live no matter what. Turtles. They grow in all them turtles. Breaking my feeties. Every single feet. <laughs> Do we know if anyone has found any Badlands biomes? I don't know. I'm sorry my headset cut out right after I sent that. Did you respond to my case statement? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Bloom's on the server. Uh, Dragon Lobster and Bloom are on here. And, uh, they're... Whole, uh, let's see, Dragon Lobster is living in my walls, literally, uh, and I don't 100% remember what Bloom is up to. Definitely someone who has spent a small amount of time on this. I haven't been as active as it, like everyone else. Not for lack of trying, I'm just busy.
Ah, uh, the pain in the ass that is this. Is... I essentially have to build this roof like twice. Alright, I have one of a billion strips of wood to make. Though I don't know how I'm gonna do this over there. I'm only gonna do half of it because that right there is going to be a tower, and I know it's going to be a tower, so I don't know quite how I'm gonna do that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go get a bunch of dirt, and I'm gonna just see about doing the prep for this, and then doing the big build. I think that'll be the smartest way of doing this. I like to see Mason House do not really going to be like keeping the dirt there, I'm going to be repurposing it. I am going to eventually like smoothing things out on the ground below when it comes to that point in time. It's not there yet. That could be helpful. I've got iron. I can see about just making an iron axe whenever. Somewhat loud. My music is somewhat loud. Oh. Turn that down a bit. I didn't realize it was so loud. Uh, I've got the iron to make uh, iron tools. I just like using stone stuff. Don't sleep tonight. Oh, Papa. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah. I've got the iron, I, I just like making stone tools, that's all. Shouldn't have told you that. Oh, the sleeping thing? <laughs> Those hatch eights. They just want to hatch. Alright, I need dirt. Let's find dirt somewhere that doesn't involve ruining a lot of the beauty and majesty that is this place. Let's see here. considering naming uh, the barn off of the Ohio Worms baseball stadium. Does that mean anything to anybody else besides me and Chalk? Probably not. But he knows what I'm talking about. Turtle Cube! Hey, there he is! There's Bloom! We were just talking about him. Actually, not we. I was. I didn't hit shift all the way.
vibing. I'm vibing right now. Oh boy. This is going to be rough because I haven't done all of that either. Shid. It's a lot of monsters and it is raining. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's a creepy creeper. Pogo is good. Pogo. Nice music to work on stuff too. Oh, absolutely. Very chill, relaxed time. Helps stay focus, but you know, it's not unpleasant to listen to. It also doesn't, you know, make me fall asleep. Let's see here. Where is a place I can build that I won't, or where's a place I can gather dirt, but I won't die while I'm doing it? Uh, so much more debt. I didn't realize how big of a project this was actually going to be. But I'm determined. I will make it happen and break my legs in the process. Manufacturers. Ah, it's a creeper. Woo, I almost fell in the gorg. Oh, that stupid, crazy idea. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that wasn't what I was planning on, but it, you know, it worked out. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I said, oh, goodbye. Oh no, it's a scaly boy. How do you have eggs? Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I am well. I'm more satisfied now that I've figured out a confusion that I had um, with the way that I built my house. Oh. So, um, I don't know if you know where my house is. I do not. Uh, uh, I was trying to see if I can send you cords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, know 100% how to read cords, but. I've slowly um, been understanding it. I'm at. Oh god, two things are. Wait, can I. Uh, so if you hit F3, you'll see. I X, think it's. XYZ coordinates, all you need is the X and the Z. The Y doesn't matter. Uh, I'm at 200. Uh, put, and... put, put it in the coordinates channel. Kind of hard to see. I must have. Oh, here, let me. You know what? Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to go down. Okay. I'm just going to go in my very, very not finished underground basement because the rain is just bothering me. Um. So here's the thing. Let me. Yeah. When I send you the screenshot, you'll see why. Um, I, it's kind of hard for me to read the coordinates. Oh my god, I've only sent one message to you ever. <laughs> That's fine, there here. are plenty of people who haven't messaged me before. Let's see here. 
So take a look at that. Two hundred and then oh, mm. but that's yeah. That last yeah. Last one. Yeah, that that last one is a bit hard to read because you have like numbers overlapping themselves, which I'm not sure how you have. I'm not sure how either. Oh no, I see spiders and their glowy eyeballs. Oh no. They got those yes. shiny peepers. The shiny peeps. The, sh the shiniest of peeps. Okay. Um. Yeah, so because the numbers are overlapping, I can't read coordinates now. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what's, ha what's, ha what's happening? What's happening? What's no, happening? They're hatching uh -huh. turtle eggs. It's like, huh? What? No, uh, don't, don't worry. There's as much context to that <laughs> as the rest of us have. I'm here and watch. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where here is. Fine. Find them, it's, find them, Bloom. That's your new quest. It's midnight. Me and Maze had a kissy. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, midnight kiss. Don't you know? Yeah. It's almost three. It... Eh. It's a big old lava pool. I mean, to be fair, it's like 7:30 p.m. here. Only 4 p.m. where I am. 4 p.m. Yep. Different parts of the world. Wait, what? Wow. Wait. I think he blew the sheep a little bit. It's a three hour time. Wait, do you live in the US? I do. I am in America. You... Are you are you in the West Coast? I sure am. Oh, I'm in the East Coast, that's why. Nice. Yee. Uh okay. Uh Ooh, I actually need food first, and then maybe I can try your See, quest you, of finding. You got the advantage, at least, though, of uh, when you want to do something with these guys. It's only a five-hour time difference for you, where I have an eight-hour time difference. Yeah. Yeah, I've realized America. that. <laughs> it, sucks, it makes streaming it? with Trinky a, a bit of a problem sometimes. Uh, that's fair. It's very... But it's fun. The moon says it's four. What? Oh no, he's got an iron shovel. He's gonna hit me with it. Oh, oh no, not the shovel. Not the shovel. I'm Anything a Kentuckian. The shovel. Kentuckian? Nice. I'm from the West. That's all I'm gonna say. Weast. Yes, Weast. <laughs> East? I thought you meant Weast. <laughs> Oh man. I am so glad Wait I'm so glad you recognized that reference. Of course I do. I'm I've been around at least long enough to have recognized that. Yes. A true person a true what I what I deem to be a true person of culture. It's a true <laughs> man of culture. A true man of culture, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Speaking of culture, yes. because we're talking about shovels now, and because one of my favorite pastimes is talking about one of my favorite things out of context. Uh, but it's only fun if someone doesn't know. It's even better if someone does, though. Okay. Uh, how uh, what's how, this context? How familiar are you with a series called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I'm on part four. Nice. So you have some context, but you don't have all the context. Yeah, my uh, brother's probably gonna make me watch it as soon as I have to go eat dinner. To be fair. Ah, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Did you just get to part four, or have you been? I think I am four episodes in. Um, Josuke, um, he went in, found. Um, why am I forgetting the kids? The other guy, the other kid's name. Koichi. Yeah, Koichi. Just found him. Um, saw that the stand was so far an egg, had a crack, um, uh, and standing. then the arm, <laughs> and then the army, um, the army stand was released, and, uh, Josuke defeated the person. You can no longer the, say uh, the word to. Rockets being destroyed. So that's how far I've gotten. 
Oh no! I important has banned a word for me. Oh boy, this is gonna be tricky. What word? Uh, I cannot say. Is it? A, is it? A, it's the number between one and three, though. Two. If, yeah, I can't say that. It's more than. Is there, it's more. Is, than is there, I was about to say, is there some lore behind this? No, I'm literally. I have a thing that allows people to ban words for me, and they decided to ban uh, that particular word. So now I have to. There, damn it! There it goes. I screwed that up. Now I have. And watch what I say. My life has become much more difficult. I was gonna say, like, this is, if you need... This is now a stand battle. A stand <laughs> battle? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, if you need to say that number, you could say one plus one. Oh, it's more it than gets... that. I can't say the word. Meaning, those versions of the word are, are removed from me. What? Yeah. Which is going to make my life much more difficult. So if you need to say something where you need two of something, would you have to say, like, okay, I have this thing, I'd but say I need a few. another it? I'd say a few. A few. Okay. Yeah, honestly, that's fair. That's fair. I have to get yeah. creative with my words now. Something that I don't know how to do. I've had experience. Uh, there is a game my friends uh, and I play where the point of it is you have to... Hmm. How do I say this without saying the word? <laughs> the objective... Uh-huh is following a set of rules. <laughs> oh my god. What's six minus four if you can't change? <laughs> that is just... That is just <laughs> oh no. That is just torture. Uh, answer? A number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we we had a game that functioned like this and it was more and more rules that were put on you so you had to follow each and every one and if you screwed up you lost a point but if you kept going uh, you kept all of your stuff and it was basically like a survival style thing to follow oh that was fun mm. that bit <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Ouch. You alright there? Yeah, it's tricky. To... I might swap ravine. out the word in my mental head of just saying tooth now. Tooth. I mean, it works. What was I doing? I was distracted by uh, words and how I can't say them anymore. Oh, sevens in the chat. Oh. <laughs> All right, but that's good to hear. You're familiar. That's fantastic. Uh, what do you like about it so far? About JoJo? Yes. Pretty much everything, to be fair. I mean, um, I like how weird it is. Uh huh. In some, in some aspects, I like how weird. <laughs> it only takes blank to tank up. <laughs> <laughs> we're now we're playing ad libs now. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Uh... <laughs> you should you should just say yes.
<laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best thing. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're all having fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, see I have creative ways of getting around this too. Damn it. Tooth. Wait, what happened? I said tooth. Not tooth. No, 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 tooth. If you heard me say that, I'm afraid you've misheard me. You actually oh, no. heard yourself say the word. Uh, I yeah. never said it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I said tooth. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. So my game crashes every time I try to open Flock uh, SMP. Oh no! What happened? Uh, Importance game uh, is crashing every time he tries to join the Flock SMP. Oh! Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me... Uh, I need a... I'm gonna check one thing, but I probably have to go do something. I will to try to be back, but I don't MOC know if I'll be back, said but it, I will agent. see if I'm back. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I you heard wrong. Wait, what? Nothing. No one has no one has heard anything. It's all an illusion. Everything is an illusion. Yes. What what are words? I count six. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh nice, I can see you moving. Someone has come on. I don't know who. Cool. Hello? 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 How are you? Hi. It's kind of quiet over here right now. Kind of quiet? Yeah. On your side of the pond? On my side of the pond. We're on the same side, Mox! On your side of the ocean? We're on the same ocean, Mox. Mox doesn't move, he wiggles. <laughs> Cannon now. <laughs> I slither like a snake. Whose voice is whose? <laughs> Jason? Hello, hello. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see. AZ, where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giggling, Mox? Ah. Uh, just the absurdity of the situation I found myself in. After all, I uh, I have been limited on my speech. Is that Gray? Is it? Gray, what is that you? Fuck! Ace! I need more wood. 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 <laughs> Not what is happening. Alright, I at least got my Minecraft set up. Haven't had vanilla updated in years at this point. Now when I'm able I can get in. Nice. I I had to do Maze, where are we going? The same thing. Doo doo. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that's all planted. Ready to go. <laughs> Leaky. Maze, what is happening? What is happening? I she don't sounds, know. She sounds. She sounds like I imagined. This. Oh. She sounds like Gray. Yeah. I sound like Gray because I'm Gray. You what? Are gray. No way. 
Okay, Maze, I don't know how you're going so fast, because I'm getting stuck. Okay, but why are you great? Mm -hmm. That's my freaking name. Wow. <laughs> That's fair. Sorry, that uh, that makes me think of uh, some Twitter things I have seen that just crack me up. Have you guys seen uh, Tony Hawk's Twitter? I have. Why the not... hell would I follow that? Not that to follow, but to see it uh, on a regular basis. Uh, people don't realize who he is, so when he's <laughs> talking to them and stuff like that, they'll ask him the most absurd fucking questions, even though it would be easily answered knowing who he is. Like one of my favorite ones is he was at a seven uh, to them. Oh, he was at a, uh, I believe, an airport, and someone said, "Hey, you look like Tony Hawk," and he was like, "Yeah, I do. Why?" I've seen that one. <laughs> and he had no answer. Like, yeah, I do. Like, am freaking Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. What is? What is? What is that? What is happening? Ah. What? I don't know. Maze is leading, leading me. Do on you a skateboard? Do I skate? Uh, skateboard? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Do you skateboard? Yeah. Ah. He dabbles. If you pronounce my name correctly. I don't fucking want to. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think that's how it's pronounced, but it's a good effort. <laughs> I've got other names for you too. Close, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Maze? What the Maze doing? You making like every sort of block? <laughs> oh my god, it's only 13 spruce logs. That sh that tree! It didn't give me a single sapling! Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> true, true. Uh-oh. I see my brother is online. I'm, I'm giving a countdown before he invites me. Doggy. Five. Four. Every, every time I stream, he, he wants me, uh, or sends an invitation, and I refuse because I'm usually busy doing this. Man meat. Man meat. Okay, I guess that's lore bloom technically because it's a constant thing. Uh... My brother is a cannibal. Huh? And... What? He's man meat. He, he, he has a quest to find the smoothest brain and collect it, since he rejects science, learning, and everything, as he believes in smooth brain supremacy. Uh, and he consumes the flesh of men. Another... Uh... Fun fact, uh, Trinky is all for it. Uh, what? Yeah, 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 my, my streams have been weird. Part of me, no, it's just that part of me is just confused on I don't what... want to get, I don't, I don't want to go near the fucking guardians, I'll get slow. <laughs> man meat, man meat. I'm not going over meat. there. <laughs> he will consume the meat of man. There have been many adventures where he's been the antagonist of the stream, hunting us down, trying to eat our meat. I can't say he's been very good at it, thankfully. But it's always fun seeing him show up with... It's fun seeing him show up with bows and arrows in games where we have guns. Uh? It doesn't go well. I imagine not, no. Especially when he comes like running over a hill screaming with a knife and a bow going man meat and it's just Uh-huh Uh-huh Yeah, I guess that's lore Let's 
Skelly. Skelly bones. Rifles work very well. Rifles work very well. Who has arrows, bitch? I do. Yes. There's somebody running around below me. Uh oh. You said you're heading out for a second, Bloom? Yeah. I'm prop by the time I get back I probably won't be able to beat you, but Box, it was nice talking to you again. Yeah, absolutely. Great, it was nice talking to you again. I'll just hopefully speak to you both soon. Yeah, no worries. Alright, bye. Have a good one. Done. I hate that I have subbed, but I still get ads. Jumped in front of me while I was shooting a skelly. Uh oh. We got phantoms. You got phantoms. I don't got. It's shit. only your stream. It's only my stream. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's more to it than looks. Trust me. Are you still building the barn? I'm still working on it. It needs a lot of spruce. Mm. Yes, I have to strip the spruce. You see? I have extra spruce, or I can bring you some from back from mazes. <laughs> Llamas! Why do you have so many llamas? Llama. Please, can you hear me? Are you listening? Can you hear me? They might not be. Jump if you can hear me! Jump. Thank you for the you assistance. You can me. hear me talking, can you? Let's see here. There's a skelly bone litter in my house. Not a skelly bones. Uh huh. He's got a bone to pick with me. A skelly mobob. Yes. A skelly mobob. of this curse. Why would I want to do that, Mason? <laughs> have you seen the barn? I have- I saw- I saw you do an arches. I need a- BRB. You know, I thought this was going to be a lot easier when I found the design than it actually has become, but I am, uh, I am determined to see this through. Hmm. Oh no! Me shovel. gonna cut down some trees and you know try and make it back without Dying. random fucking pillager deaths. I wish you the best of luck. Random pillager deaths. The little are bastard common. was in a tree. <laughs> I couldn't fucking see him, and I'm like, where the fuck am I getting shot from? The air. Back. <laughs> Welcome back. 
most of those fucking deaths were doing the goddamn elevator, so you could suck it, Mason. <laughs> I'm taking a break from building currently. Just no, you didn't. Just wanna fish. Tell me how you build that elevator. I don't even know how to build it. With blocks. Blocks? <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> you know that is incorrect. The wall of what, Mom? Alright, hold on. Hello, Grey Mom. Oh, you do not want to talk to her right now. No one wants to talk to her. What about this? I'm gonna go hide inside a house and go over. I'm heading out, have a good rest of the stream. Hey, gonna get happy. food and keep working on characters. Fair enough. Okay, okay. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Making me life harder. Mm, salty this is a Christian MC server now. Good Christian server with good Christian values. <laughs> Check chat. Oh yeah, not a swear to be seen. Oh, holy Jesus. Who's talking about Muslims? I do not know. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. What? Basim, are you Muslim? Is that why you're asking me to pronounce your name correctly? I stop Mox from swearing and so he just stops talking lol. Oh no. I do a talk. I'm just Mason, can you hear me? Mason? Can you hear me? Do your ears work? Trade fashion for compassion. Outrage is an empty passion. Upload joy for satisfaction. Or something like that. Don't lean on what they say. Non-contributors fade away. Stay true to what drives you. I thought yes, I thought Mason was a play on Mason. But if that's actually your name and it's pronounced a different way, I will pronounce it correctly. It's all you. If you want me to. just said it looked like a play on Mason. Soon. Masoon. Masoon or Masoon? Monsoon. He got the zoomies Masoon? in his name. I should empty my pockets. They're full. Full of okay, dirt. I will say, I will. 
I've kind of got Mason in my head right now because I thought it was a play, but I'll try and do my zoom then. Zoom. <laughs> wow. That puffer fish got launched. Launched? Very launched. <gasps> <laughs> I I guess I'm gonna put more gravel in the railway. Uh, whose horses are these? The ones by the manor. Yeah. Why don't you read the sign? With my eyes. Yeah, with your eyes. Mm. Temporary housing. I love rest icing mocks. I need to do it more often. Oh gosh. Yeah. There. I have fished one of the horses. I caught me a big one. You did what? I caught me a horse. Caught you a horse, okay. Yes. Caught me a horse. What did you think I was saying? No, it's weird. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, A slurring of words. We have no room for eggs. Yeah, we need another chest. So what am I gonna do with these eggs? We're gonna free those chickens because I hate that thing. I think it's fine. No! Free the chickens! Free them! They seem okay. I'll free them. Okay, got it. <laughs> free range maze. And gray. You said they were going to have room to roam, therefore I will free them. They will have room to roam. Just maybe not those ones. I disagree with the statement. I got a single chimkin out of all those eggs. Single chimkin? One chimkin. Room to roam. Room to roam. I'm collecting space wood. Nice, nice. Appreciated. I would like my brain to stop boiling with needles. Nine to roam. Aha! Uh -huh. That is up. I am now free from that curse. Can you go turn yourself off just a I'm not sure what you said. You cut out pretty badly. Can you turn yourself up a tiny bit? Turn myself up a tiny bit. I actually don't think I can. Uh, if you're talking about uh, Discord, though, you should be able to increase my volume. Good for me. Just gotta right-click my name uh, in the voice chat, and then you can adjust my volume. Hey, you're on max. Oh, well, uh, then I'm afraid <laughs> this is as loud as I'm gonna be able to get. Oh shit! What the fuck? Just got a tiny microphone. Tiny microphone! He's a tiny boy. You work him harder still. Good working boys. Yes, hard working boys. Oh well, yeah, I can finish. I got killed. Please while turn I down animal volume in house. M. I can finish that while she's offline. Animal volume. Apparently they want me to turn down the animal volume. Let's go. I turned down the animals. Take those pills. Take those pills. Love this song. Ah. Would stop doing that, but it's impossible for me to not make noises. Then make noises. Chicken, sheep, and pigs were deafeningly loud. Deafening. I think the chickens were loud, but I don't think the other things were particularly loud. Oh, 
Well, it's certainly starting to look more and more like a barn. I'm starting to wonder if I'm actually going to be able to finish it tonight. Maybe after Smoo gets home I can see about it, but... Ah! Poor boy, they were allowed at least. You're all in four. It's going to be tricky though, because uh, I'm doing a movie night with Smoo. Did one last night and we're doing another one tonight and tomorrow. What movie? Uh, it is a show that I watch every year around Christmas time because it's just like my own tradition and I have dragged other people into it. I see. Yes. It is a really dumbass cartoon. That's not even particularly fantastic. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. But it's not like anything groundbreaking. It's called Nostalgia. Kinda. Gray's voice is so adorable. Aw. Did you hear that? No. Hey, this is a Christian MC server, no swearing. <laughs> what am I supposed to be hearing? Maze called you adorable. Why do Maze? you all have superior voices? Superior. I don't know about superior. Is Maze in your chat right now? Maybe. Okay. They may be there I am amazing. not, because I can't have I can't have Discord open and stream open, because then I will not be able to play my game. Fair enough. Maze is coming. You have a superior voice to Mox. <laughs> Maze is the most adorable. I do. Y'all's voices are amazing. Aw. I appreciate <laughs> that. I think my voice is okay. I think it could be better. I wouldn't say I have like the range of like a voice actor or anything like that, but I certainly have a range of making silly voices. It's just really fun mm. to tuck your tongue in the back of your throat and see what it's ha see what happens, you know. Also, the game is kind of loud in comparison to you. Game is loud. Hold on, I think I killed Gray. Gray, are you still there? That easily killed. I work way harder than that off me. <laughs> Certainly gave you a hee hoo. Hee hoo. Yep. You know, at one point in time, I actually Glitching used to do... Minecraft. Eh? What's happening? I'm trying to cut down this tree, and it keeps putting the block back, and then it puts me Mox, in a do you need area. a turtle it's shell, too? Block. A turtle shell? I don't even know what a turtle shell do. Do you not know what a turtle shell do? I do not know what a turtle shell do. You look like a turtle. Ooh. You make me look like turtle? Turtle Mox! But it might also give you some other perks. Oh ho? Not just looking like a cool turtle. Okay. You give me ninja powers and I'll become a Teenage Mutant Ninja Mox? Not quite sure I'd go that far either. Aw, oh, dang. Don't you know Hero in a Half Shell? Turtle power? Yeah, but I am you turtle. I want a shell for that and not just a hat. <laughs> Mox, do you have plans oh, on alternative one Sundays? On top of one another? All alternate Sundays? I I usually turtle be doing things. Usually work on Sundays. Sad truth of the matter. Remember, I remember finding some. Uh, I remember finding NVM some then. Turtle once, and I literally spent 20 mm. minutes getting them to the ocean. Could not let them stay beached. Didn't want to have beach turtles. Oh, you can't have beach turtles. That's no mean. It is mean. 
feel like important was inviting me to something. Look at me, I don't know. <laughs> if I do know, then that's just crazy. Crazy talk? But I don't know. All I do, I know about nothing. Then at all. If you wear a turtle shell on your head, it makes the drowned run away from you. Oh, turtle shell scare drowned. Neat. And? There's an and? I am planning on demanding a new D&D &D campaign set in like modern fantasy, but my only free day is alternating Sundays. I see. I see, I see. Uh, and turtles attack you. And turtles attack you. Oh. So if you're wearing the turtle shell, turtles attack you, huh? I'm wearing it. No one's attacking me. Well, Get I may, some water, Breezy. I may not be able to participate in that, but I can at least uh, support your endeavors. How very curious. That's false. Voluntary exile. Killing pillagers. Mm. Oh, I see. I have Why are you exposing me like that, bestie? <laughs> Uh -oh. Tuttles are entirely peaceful. They're entirely peaceful? Only friends. Well... I can get- In dark, I better go sleep in Maze's bed. Go sleep in Maze's- mm -hmm. I asked the age old question, but I already technically did that. Tuttles are friends, so. not food. Sounds funny. And I said, what if we put our Minecraft beds together? Haha. <laughs> so we already did. Eat soup with turtle shell. Eat soup with turtle shell? Just scoop it up with the shell and just. It's like a thermos, you know? How much soup can your turtle shell hold? <laughs> God damn it, I got to the fucking bed and he said, I'm already sleeping. I was already snoozing. God damn it, I ran all this way for nothing. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> I was running. <laughs> turtle soup in a turtle shell, nothing goes to waste. Exactly. Uh, this probably isn't going to be helpful for anything. I'm going to put it here anyway. Anywho, important. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure how well planned you have uh, your thing already, but I can give a recommendation for an urban setting uh, system, if in you're interested, and that would be the Cyberpunk 2020 system. Holy crap, it's awesome. Are you talking to me? Talking to important. Okay. Like... It's it's goofy. Like Gray, you've been on the, the the channel long enough to hear me talk about Cyberpunk before. What is that oh, little yeah, gremlin definitely. doing in on my land? What? Oh, Maze is wondering what that gremlin is doing on their land. I'm assuming they're referring to you. What? Nothing. They're not doing nothing apparently. I don't know how accurate that is, but according to them. Gremlinin. Calling you a gremlin. Freaking gremlin. Freaking gremlin. May I assist you today? I love gray. I was going to go to another system, but then I just reflavored 5e and had minimal changes to the rules. Fair enough. This is Grey Love Zone. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be a wild, wild thing. Uh, way back in the day, um, when Snoo 
and Chalk and just really all of the poor game crew was still learning D&D. The only system they had was one they found online called Nemesis, which was a, a sort of D10 based system where it didn't matter so much what you rolled, though that was still important. It mattered on getting matches with your D10s. Like, you could only succeed if you got two matching numbers, and then the higher the number was the higher the quality, and the more matching numbers you got was the faster you did something. So if two people did something, but one person got, like, three matches where someone else got two matches, the person with three matches would go first beforehand, uh, but the person with the higher number would basically do the better job out of things. It was, it was a weird system. Um... It was meant for uh, a horror... Oak Imago so I can get back on Minecraft soon. No worries. Uh, it was meant for like a horror style setting. It was primarily focused around spooks. It reminds me a lot of the old Call of Cthulhu system, except a lot nicer and doesn't like grind characters up. Gray, do you know what that means? E. You know what, you know what player grinder is? E. E? Is that a yes or is that a no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's not a player grinder system. Basically, like as you were playing things, uh, when stuff would happen, you'd have to do a check. Uh, like if something violent happened, you'd have to do a violence check. If you saw something spooky, you'd have to do a supernatural check. If uh, you had to lie about something, you had to do a self check. And if uh, you were basically put in a dangerous situation beyond your abilities or so, like being caught in a house fire or something, you'd have to do a helplessness check. Uh, and, and every time you succeeded, you would get a thing called hardened. And every time you failed, you would uh, have a failed thing. And basically, they would influence how your character went about things. Being hardened made it so that when you were in similar situations, you were actually more adapt to deal with it and handle it, so your character wouldn't even have to do the check until higher and more dangerous things came about. But at the same time, it sort of made you more cynical and hardened as a person. A character with like a, a very hard. It just made them hard. Yeah, it just Sorry, now hard. I go. No worries. Uh, like, like a character with a hardened self doesn't have any qualms about lying, cheating, or betraying their word because they don't even believe in their own word. They just say what they have to to survive kind of thing. Uh, but a character with a bunch of failed uh, self-checks is uncertain of their own actions at times and will find themselves locked up and paralyzed by choice, especially if it means what they're doing requires them to say, like, not necessarily tell the whole truth or so. They might not even be able to do that because they'd feel so guilty about it. It's a very interesting concept. Very poorly implemented, though, if I'm being honest. Um, anywho, the point of this, because uh, you're talking about a modified system, I wanted to teach this group stuff about D&D. 5e wasn't a thing at the time that I was doing this, so I didn't have a great way to do it. Uh, 4th edition was terrible, and 3.5 was not exactly as readily available as it once was. So my idea was to take this nemesis system... It sounds interesting, but it sounds like it needs the players to be a good artwork. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. It has a lot of other nuances, but that's not important to the story. Um, what I did is I took that system. I created a feat system. I created a uh, damage system because damage didn't quite work the same in Nemesis as it does in a lot of other systems. It had a locational system, which I've seen before in other things, but it had two forms of damage, stun damage and then uh, uh, lethal damage. I don't quite remember the specifics of it. If uh, your one of your limbs or so was filled with stun damage, it was broken, any stun damage you would take afterwards would be considered lethal, and if a limb or so got filled with lethal damage, it would be destroyed, and if your head or torso got full of lethal damage, you die. The vagueness of damage types in the system would do additional points of stun and lethal damage of a set number. So how do you introduce D&D dice rolling to this kind of thing? Well, you sort of give it a number to roll, and then that's going to be the amount of damage done to it, whether that's going to be lethal or, or stun. 
this bastardization of the system, of this hybrid of this D10 thing and D&D, ended up getting coined uh, Neo Nemesis, and the entire campaign ended up getting called Neo Nemesis. Um, however, it had a bad uh, side effect I wasn't expecting. Like. It ended up working well enough for everyone to kind of learn the basics of certain things and how it worked. Uh, but the it inspired almost every single one of these new players to decide that they could make their own system. And uh -oh. suddenly there were like a dozen new systems being built by these guys based kind of loosely off of the Nemesis rules, the Neo Nemesis that I had created, and some of the other stuff that they had learned through other things. And I gotta say, they were all mostly terrible. Not all of them, though. Um, I think uh, Chalk's Project Red idea actually was the most grounded out of all of them, which is a pretty cool one. He made his own system based off of the the Ruby animation from Rooster Teeth. It actually was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. It was pretty fun. Um, I think the most egregious one actually came from Snoo. Snoo had like four or five different variations of their own system. And the first one had many, many problems. The worst being uh, there was a very clear imbalance on how they were doing races. Um, Say, say you're playing D and D, right? Yeah. Uh, why should I play a race like a human when a race like an elf gets the ability to see in the dark and doesn't have to sleep eight hours? You know, they can just rest for the four hours during their trance. Yeah. You know, why would I want to play that? Do you have an answer, Greg? Uh, because you want to cheat in some manner. You could say that. That's not actually too in wrong. Since uh, humans get bonuses to a lot of stats as well as a flat bonus bonus. Uh, and then there's a variation variant human in 5e that allows you to just get a feat, which is ridiculous. Humans get the bonus to all stats and variant humans get feet. Exactly. Exactly. That's the reason why you want to play that. Yeah, you don't get uh, these special abilities uh, that the races get, but you are kind of an all-around class that goes with it. Uh, in Snoo's setup, there was no reason to play anything that wasn't a vampire. Because the, bon <laughs> the bonuses that a vampire got were ridiculous. The negatives that a vampire had were negligible. And because it was a number-based system where you basically had a certain number of things that you would assign to stuff, the numbers that a vampire got with their bonuses and the total number were something like a vampire had 50 points total and a human would have something like 20. Interesting. Every other race had that same problem. There was no reason to play anything else other than a vampire. And, like, I had to break that down to them in those exact numbers to show them why, you know, things were done in the wow. way that they were. Right? It was, it was something. Uh, there are... We have a, a folder somewhere of character sheets from various other systems that were all made by members of the Poor Chem crew. And... and Sometimes we'll unearth them while we're looking through stuff, trying to find people's character sheets and stuff. Even though we have this big-ass binder that is organized by campaign, so we don't lose them, we still lose them. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh... So I just think about modified campaigns has made me think of that. I don't know why, but me and the group have all been thinking actually of that old campaign a lot lately. And I, I think I can make a guess, and that's because almost every character from that campaign has now been added to the new one we're playing currently. And I don't know if it was intentional or not. I think Snoo is one of the only people who isn't bringing a character back from that. Instead, they're bringing a character from another system. 
they had a character, his name was Edge. He was a robot trash can that was full of knives. <laughs> and his character was designed to be the edgiest character they could come up with. Because they were told that one of their other characters was edgy and they went, no, I'll show you edgy. And that's how Edge came about. Of course. Um... But now, uh, they're decided to remake Edge as, uh, a shy, nerdy boy who's trying to find his long-lost sister. I am the king of Edge. I am the king of Edge, yeah, basically. So he's translated going from this almost, like, cloud of knives as a trash can robot to being a one-armed nerd, or no, a one-eyed nerd who can't talk to anybody. <laughs> What I really am enjoying right now, and I'm sure that they're going to just, like, be so upset that I'm telling this because they're embarrassed by it. That's basically me. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, on the most recent session that we were having, um, a NPC friend of theirs, who they got evicted by their, by their association with the group, unfortunately, um, it basically was like, hey, Edge... You owe me for a couple of things I've helped you out and recent things, so you're gonna go clubbing with me because I think you're a shy nerd loser who needs friends. But I want you to bring a date. So Edge has the mission of having to go out and break their shyness of asking uh, somebody to go out to the club with them. Uh, and unfortunately for them, or fortunately for them, they're currently uh, stuck inside of a safe house with like a dozen people and out of those a dozen people like 11 uh not 11 like 10 of them are pretty attractive females because everybody has a high attractive stat for some reason like everybody <laughs> even the nomad from the wild wastelands basically like the mad max style character oh i'm being hosted by important cool thank you hey, um hey, hey. We're cute. yeah uh the, the, yeah, the Mad Max style character with, like, the rusty metal arm and things. Oh, and there's nothing wrong with Mad Max. It's that for being this person who lives in the dirt, they're entirely super attractive. It's just really funny to me. Uh... I hope that one day when I live in the dirt that I am attractive. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, I don't live in the dirt, and I'm not attractive, so maybe it'll switch around. Actually, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm having fun doing this. Snoo is going to be... Oh, I'm being pushed into the water. Oh, no. Ah! Still got to fish. Head Nox is the wrong. Um, I'm having fun talking about Edge and just embarrassing Snoo still. I like doing it. It's fun. Um, I tweet Snoo. Hee hee hee. I am actually mm -hmm. making a system called Dungeon Finder, a mix of 5e and PF2e. Okay. Right on, right on. Uh, let's see here. What other fun, stupid things can I talk about Edge? Uh, so Edge is a hacker, okay? He's actually a class called a Netrunner, all right? Uh, for a hacker, what, what would you assume, like, the big thing that a hacker could do is? Like, if you had to make a guess... Hack a computer system. Hack a computer system, you know, that would be a fantastic thing. If if the Netrunner was the only class that could do the hacking or so, that would make sense. That's not what they do. <laughs> okay. Right? Technically, anybody can be a hacker. Anybody in, in Cyberpunk. Oh, no. If we... <sighs> If we are, then there's some downstairs. I didn't think we were out of it up here. Important. Do you have a guess as to what a, uh, a net runner's ability is? You asking me again, or are you asking chat? I'm asking chat. Trust me, your guess was what we all thought it was going to be. Relationship hacker. See through people's personalities. Mm, mm, mm. I see, I see. Unfortunately not. No, that does sound neat. No, the answer is a hacker literally has access to... Hear me out. Hear me out. They have access to 
the menu. You know, you know, file and all that on a computer system. Yeah. That's what they have access to. It's good. Hack hospitals and kill the you can't even hack a security system. Uh huh. You can no, you can hack a security system. Anybody with a a, a portable computer called a um, cyber deck can can do hacking, but only netrunners. That just means anybody can do it. Right. Exactly. This file thing, I have yet to see it actually come up. In fact, netrunning as a, a whole is such a mess. That if you look up any uh, assistance that people have called out being like, how the hell do you do this? Everybody has a uniform agreement to not do net running. Don't play a hacker. Don't do it. It's not worth That's it. That's so stupid. Isn't it? Especially for like a cyberpunk system where hacking and stuff like that is like the thing you think of. You got the people with the guns and the chromed out looks, right? But then you have the guy who's like connected to his computer and he's actually the more dangerous run, right? No, it doesn't work like that. It's stupid. So we've had to make our own hacking system. <laughs> We're taking the rules that are sort of in there and translating it to our own thing. Like, here's an example. The time dilation between somebody in the uh, net versus somebody on the surface, or the meat space as it's called, is five times. Every one turn you take in uh, the meat space is five turns in the internet. So imagine an encounter where there's a hacker doing their hacker thing and everyone else is like trying to survive and protect the guy doing his thing. They get five turns plus whatever else is going on in there while everyone else gets one turn. That sounds pretty terrible, right? Yeah, it's a little bit. It's because it is. Uh, I, still, I believe that the time dilation being a thing is fine. But it needs to be limited. So what we've agreed upon is we're only That is pretty awful. It's pretty awful. We decided to cut it down to just two. For every one turn in meat space, the net hacker gets two turns. It's still a lot more, but it's more manageable. It doesn't feel as bad. It also still feels like they're moving faster and acting faster than What's everyone else. Sorry. No worries. Uh, let's see, what else? Because we're making fun of Edge here. Um, it's just, it's oh. gonna be so mad. Oh, Snu is aware, and Snu likes to t t talk about their own character and how much of a punk nerd he is. Um, I know this is a fun one. Um, so Edge's mom is a problem. It basically like when you build a character, actually, it's. Making a character is actually super fun. It's one of my most favorite things in Cyberpunk. Um, you don't just make who they are, you also give them a backstory. Well, backstories are nothing new to any campaign, but I've never seen a system with like tr uh, trees upon trees of background history that can happen to your character that actually have substantial bonuses and uh, weaknesses for doing so. Um, making every character very fleshed out and unique through doing it. Um, <laughs> like being with... What? Letting you know. Hold on. Um, so one of Edge's things is that his family life is a little rough. Uh, his dad is a cop. The heart resistance should be losing the same. Uh, Pan Am. Yeah. People like Pan Am. I, I'm indifferent towards Pan Am, but Pan Am's great. That's the game, though. I'm talking about the tabletop. The tabletop that takes place, like, 50 years before, uh, that game. Which, there's a lot of things that happen within that 50 years. <laughs> like, the internet gets nuked. No joke. The whole ass internet gets nuked. In fact, the internet in Cyberpunk isn't like the internet that we know. For one, it's all weirdly like phone based. Like it's all landline based. In fact, your time in the internet is tracked. It is your new bad word. <sighs> what is happening? I got another word banned. <laughs> yeah. 
bird ban? His dad being a cop is rough. His mom is a uh, trauma team member, which means they go out and help people even at, during any kind of situation. They're kind of like heroes in cyberpunk. Um, but it's expensive and you kind of need insurance to do it. Well, not insurance. It's a lot cheaper than it sounds, but it's also very expensive. Uh, we can compare that. Why would we compare when mine's the biggest? Lol. Uh, as a lighthearted thing, though, uh, Edge's dad is Jimmy Neutron's dad. But he's a cop. <laughs> Mom is not as pleasant. Let me think of another fun, stupid thing. Oh! There are programs called Demons. And demons are like programs that hold other programs inside of them. And it makes it so that you can have more programs with you in the net. And every program is like a wizard's spell book. Like it, it allows the, you to do a lot more. <laughs> uh, Edge has a demon. That demon is a demon called a succubus. succubus. They have the looks, like you could imagine. Um, but Edge's demon <laughs> is full of sass, and so they'll go into the net, or sass. into net, and summon said succubus. I love sass. And the th and, and it pops out. And it just goes, oh my god, are you so lonely? You have to, <laughs> you have to summon me for for company. And he's like, yeah. And they're like, wow, you're so sad. I love this succubus. They are great. Uh, they actually died a couple of sessions ago, but. They kept a backup version of them on hand. However, that succubus doesn't remember anything that happened from when it was backed up. So That's not nice. It's not, but things die in, in Cyberpunk. It's, it's very easy to die in Cyberpunk. Like, stupid easy to die. It's very similar to the Nemesis system, where you have locational damage. And if your chest or head uh, takes a certain amount of damage, you just die. In this game, you only have to take 8 damage in your chest or head to die. That's not a lot of damage, but it has to be in one instance. It's not accumulative. Um, however, any damage done to your head is doubled. So you only need to take 4 damage in your head to die. Uh, a standard pistol that's worth its salt will do at least 2d6 points of damage. The odds of getting one tapped by a basic pistol are actually pretty high. That being said, armor exists and it's sort of a unique thing. If you get hit with a bullet, the armor comes into play. The bullet has to do the Headshots hurt. Headshots hurt. Getting hit with a bullet, the bullet has to do the exact damage and then some to get through the armor. If it does, the armor actually takes a permanent one point of damage and gets slightly shredded. And then whatever goes... Everybody good out there? Yeah. Then everything that goes through is the damage you have to deal with. Uh... It's like a transformer just exploded just exploded. Oof. I suddenly remembered, oh yeah, I'm trying to build. I exploded it. You exploded it. 
What? No, I meant I meant real life. I am sure the transformer just exploded. That's what I was thinking. Are you alright? Uh, well, we're like our our power fluctuated and we got one out for a few seconds. Uh oh. Um. Is your computer in a power? I strip? exploded it probably. My computer, mm -hmm. yeah, my my computer is not plugged in to anything right now. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Actually, it looks like my charger is not working. Oh no! Is the power out? No, it's still on. Okay, charger's working now. I think wherever it exploded was attached to the main grid, which is why we have a we have a grid system that's pretty near near close to us. <laughs> I think something happened over there, but it didn't take out our specific one. No, that's good. Actually, I'm gonna hide in one of Mace's houses and eat a snack. Yeah, that's fair. I hide here and eat food. Okay, great. I think I think you'll like this. To cheer you up, I'll tell you another funny story. Story? Yes. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on one second. Let me grab some food. Okay. okay. Tell you when I am back. Okay. We will wait. And I would tell story. Honestly, I'm probably gonna tell that story. Uh, gather more materials, and then head off for the night. And figure out what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. For Dungeon Finder, I am taking all of the cool things about PF2E and shoved it into 5E. Yeah, yeah. I'm not as familiar with uh, Pathfinder 2 as I am with the base Pathfinder. I used to play that shit out of the original Pathfinder. Funny enough, after uh, not playing it for a while just because branching the 5E, when I was playing the Kingsmaker game uh, that came out on Steam, I had to remember exactly how the game functioned again to play it properly. Messages on Facebook. Okay, I have returned with food. Welcome back. Like I have been needing a crafting skill in 5e beaks who it is too common with my groups for some reason. People like this building. Alright, so. Probably the last, or probably the last story I'll share for the evening before I head off. Um. It'll be the last, it'll be the last, uh, edge story for now. He cannot 
hold his alcohol. <laughs> One. Read the last story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. He, uh... If Edge has a single beer, he gets blackout drunk. A single alcohol. It's not even, like, a full one. Just a sip, and boom, he's he's gone. But he doesn't just get drunk. He gets drunk and wanders off, and nobody can find him. <laughs> And during that time, he manages to find himself continually just buckets of oil and just smears writing on whatever surfaces he can get his hands on with words and phrases from his heart. And he just like sings and, and cries out everywhere he goes. So he's like a psychopath wandering around to anybody who observes him while his friends are looking for him. <laughs> his first instance of this was on a boat that he was stuck on out in the ocean where they were celebrating victory. He had, he had maybe barely won, fumbled his check so bad and then proceeded to sprawl the sister's name he's looking for all over the crow's nest while just yelling their name for hours until he went hoarse in the throat. <laughs> That's hilarious. His second outing of this was he was sharing a drink with Chalk's character in, in their garage and then vanished only to wake up uh in a bar in a room he, he didn't recognize with a friend who happened to see him wandering like weeping to himself in alleyways <laughs> that he had sprawled nonsense all over <laughs> to the point now that the group has unanimously agreed Edge cannot be around alcohol <laughs> now remember, he has a mission currently where he has to go and ask somebody out to hang out at a club with. Oh no! A club in Night City where drugs and alcohol, but are, alcohol. Are, are immediately there. Oh man. It's going to be fun. It's I, I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Uh, but I think right there is where I'm going to call it because I'm just suddenly brain fried realizing that I think I need to step away for a bit. Uh, but I'll be back on tomorrow for certain. Maybe I'll be back on later tonight. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. It's probably going to be with Snoo. I don't know anything else besides that. Uh, so I hope everyone stays safe, stays hydrated, remembers to wash their hands, play Minecraft. What they said when we were talking the other night. Oh, well maybe we are. Uh, no worries. I, it wouldn't surprise me. But anywho, I hope everyone stays ha safe, stays hydrated, remembers to wash their hands. This is Mr. Mox, and I'm signing off for the evening. Mox. Good night. Good night.